So I've been reading the posts. Uh, I'm assuming some of you, I think about half of you have already watched the little video and finding your way into a research assignment. Um, the rest of you will want to do that. It's due tonight. Pretty short video. I think it's about 12 minutes. And as I was reading these, I started to get similar questions from students. And so I wanted to address them today. Um, beyond that, take note of all the assignments that are due this week. Obviously, there's that short video with a reflection that allows you to ask a few questions. There is a discussion board that you're gonna do with your groups. I have some readings that are about writing. And rather than assign them all to you, I think there's four of them. Um, rather than assign them to you, you can share them. They are all from writing spaces. And you know from reading a few articles from writing spaces already, that these are written for first year students. They seem like they're long, they're normally around 20 pages, but the font is large, it's written to you, there are often images, and you can skim through them. Um, one is about, you know, like, how do you make your writing seem like what you're writing about really matters? That's the one on exigence. There's another one on doing primary research. Primary research is where you might observe things, not possible now because of the pandemic, um, but you might interview somebody. And I think some of you might want to have interviews um, to get narratives, either that reflect the past, you know, like how your parents or some relative or some friend you know experienced education in the past um, compared to what we see now or even compared to 2002. Uh, there's another article about using narratives, um, your own personal narratives in academic writing. I really want your writing to matter. And so I have these four articles. Um, when you get into your groups, you could say, read whatever you want, or you can assign different people to read them. And so that you will see summaries and analysis of the most important parts and you don't have to read everything. So um, besides that, take work steadily on your research. You want to narrow your topic. You want to enter annotated bibliography information. Next week is going to be a sort of a crunch week. Uh, your group meetings, you are going to have group meetings on Monday. And so I'll meet with every group. And so you'll be signing up for that in your group. We do not have class on Wednesday, November 11. And the reason for that is it's Veterans Day. Um, also give, get and give feedback on your annotated bibliography groups from group members. You can take those entries into tutors and they can give you feedback also. Your final annotated bibliography is due on Thursday 11-2. And although you're working on one single document, I'd like you to submit it. Um, that says 11-2, that should say 11-12. Sorry about that. Um, I'd like you to submit it individually. I mean, I know that means I'm going to get the same document over and over and over again, but I wanna be able to assess just you and give you an individual grade because the grades are individual. You're there to support each other, but ultimately you're not getting graded on your group's work. You're grading, getting graded on your work. Um, you just help each other out so that everybody gets better grades. I'm going to have some drafting materials on Canvas, how to write the introduction, how to plan your paper. And those will be on Canvas. Um, they should be on there Saturday. Um, your introduction is due Saturday, 1114. And, oh gosh, the slide is really messed up. The peer review on that is due the following Wednesday. So everything is the same due dates 
are there. Let me just fix these because they really are bothering me. Let me change that to Wednesday. This is me pretending like everything was already, everything was done correctly. So I'm on television. Television is never wrong. So anyways, um, questions about those due, time, due dates. Um, the introduction, is that due like after the each annotated like bibliography entry? Yeah, the annotated bibliography is due, you're doing everything, you know, like you've got either four unique entries by you or um, three unique entries and additions to other people in your group. So that is due, the final draft is due on Thursday, November 12th. So you should think about, you know, like getting it done sooner than that, but ultimately it's due on that day. Um, and as you're gathering those sources, you're gonna think about you know, like how, what, what research story is this telling and what is the argument? How are you responding to Baron and Grimm to add to their conversation, to extend it, to clarify it, to say something about a topic that they touch on, but is not necessarily the focus of their article. Remember their focus is how to bring um, diversity, education, productive diversity into their unique writing center. And they give their lessons, but they talk about a lot of things in building that argument that this is gonna be an ongoing process. And you're focused on their smaller points, the points they use to develop their ideas, so. Um, sorry, again, I had a really quick question yeah. for our, Annotated bibliography, can one of the sources be, I know that you've linked a lot of articles for us in like previous discussion posts and stuff. Um, are we allowed to use one of those for our annotated bibliography or should we find our own sources for that? If you found a source that's a good one for you, I would encourage you to use it. Okay, yeah, because um, on my the Wednesday or the assignment that's due today, I was, um, you directed me to an article that I found really helpful. So I was wondering if I could use that one in the annotated bibliography or? Absolutely. In okay. fact, yeah. um, Andy's, no, Andy's noting that I sent her an article and that's what I do a lot. I read a lot on these things um, in my spare time. I. I like to do research. It's a really interesting thing for me. Research is interesting to me. Learning new things is always interesting to me. And for about the last four years, I've been exploring the topic of diversity and diversity in education, diversity in government, civic life. And I've been reading um, books and novels and research um, written by BIPOC people um, for about four years now. It became really serious to me when I realized almost everybody I read was a white man. And I go, hmm, that means I'm only getting, uh, there's nothing wrong with white men. I'm married to a white man. I love him very much, but it's, it, I wanted different perspectives. And so my point in all of that is that I've collected information and I'm happy to share it with you and I pass it on um, because that's what researchers do they collaborate if one finds something interesting they share it with other people and to help their research and so we really are all building on each other's ideas so yeah um, in fact if you, you know, like talk to your group about who gets to do that work, but you wrote, you wrote a reading journal on an article from the list that I gave you, and you've done some of this work already um, that goes in the annotated bibliography. So from your groups decide 
you know, like which ones did you read? Which ones, uh, you know, like what do you, who gets to do the write up? Um, does somebody else going to add on to that? Um, it really is all about that. Other questions before I move on? I, I do want to say this um, again, another typo. What is up with me? I, I want to give you this important information. You know, you can write like a stuffy scholar, you know, like there's something to be said for that. I have done that myself. Or you can write an interesting paper. I would prefer to read an interesting paper. Um, but, you know, I, I understand scholarly works. It's just, I found Baron and Grimm with all their stories and their narratives interspersed with research far more interesting than Teresa Tony. And that's generally true. I want you to write something that you're passionate about. Not that you're gonna be biased, not that you're not gonna have evidence, but that you find interesting because you're learning something new and you have interesting things to say. Show, don't just tell by providing lots of concrete examples and narratives. Um, think about what's happening in the world because we have a lot of things that are illustrating the problems um, with lack of diversity in the news. What's going on that's relevant in our world? And you learned a lot by reading personal essays and by writing a personal essay. And so think about, think about the best things that you learned and how they might apply to writing something that's more scholarly. You're still using solid evidence to support your claims, but you can illustrate it with narratives. Now, these are some of the things that um, people asked. Somebody asked me, what if I can't find some sources that support my claim? And I wrote back, um, the goal isn't to find sources that support you with your claim. The goal is to read and understand more deeply and then create your claim in response to what you learned. So the research builds your claim rather than you already starting with um, it's really easy with research to say, I know the answer. And then you go around and you try and find evidence that supports the answer that you started with. That's not research. That's just building an argument on your pre-established point of view. Research is much harder because you're learning something new. Um, so think about that. Um, and then somebody else asked, what if my group finds my sources? That can happen, but collaborate with each other so that it doesn't happen. So, you know, like um, I, I wanted to show you um, a new share. Let me go over to this screen. Um, this is group two and their annotated bibliography entry that they've already gotten. Um, you'll notice Roxanne already has, are you all seeing that? Uh, Andy, are you seeing group two's annotated bibliography sheet? Somebody let me know yes. Yeah, we see it. Okay, uh, I don't trust myself with technology. Okay, so, so here Roxanne is saying I'm going to read this article and so she's already posted it on here and she hasn't finished it but she's got to start on it now as a group member i can contact her and i can add a comment and let me put my dog down and i can do um plus roxanne Um, and then I will say something like, remember that you need hanging indentation and that your citation needs 
a URL because you accessed it online. And that's my comment to her. And I can just click comment and Roxanne will get an email that I made that comment. And so as you go through this, you'll be able to communicate with each other um, by doing that plus or at the person's name. And automatically, I, I've never messaged Roxanne on this document before, but all of the at sdsu.edu emails are embedded in the system. So um, questions about how to communicate with each other, how to give each other feedback. Okay. And this is a tougher um, question. What if I can't find evidence for my topic? That, that's gonna definitely happen sometimes. Um, email me. I might have some suggestions for search terms. Um, you can make an appointment to meet with me during my office hours. You can contact a librarian. Um, it's also possible that your topic may not have the kind of research that you need. And in which case you'll have to narrow your topic in a different way. But there is help there. Questions about that? Okay. So I want you to get into groups. Um, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to make an appointment to meet with me as a group. And that'll be next week. This is the link. I'll put it in the chat. Um, you'll notice I have some times, some of them are during our class next week, and some of them are between the 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock. So if your group is able to meet between 10 and 11, that would be good. Um, if that's, you know, like, just put down there group one or group two, I think you all know your group numbers, and that will be fine. So that is the first thing that you're gonna do in your group is choose a time that works. The next thing that you're gonna do is um, start your group annotated bibliography template if you haven't already, and then share it with me on Canvas. There is a link for that. I know um, group two, already sent that to me and, and another group too that I asked to give me edit permissions. Um, and then develop a plan for communication. Do you wanna communicate um, online? Um, you know, like just through the document? Do you wanna meet um, next Monday? Um, do you, you know, like, do you wanna, talk about who gets which discussion board reading. Um, some of you may have read uh, for the last discussion board, you may have read the same article, um, who gets to write on it because you know, like you've already started doing this research. And then I want you to take a look at the annotated bibliography and really help each other out. Um, I'm gonna go back to that document. Um, Share each other's research, you know, like what kinds of things are you examining? I know in the language difference, they're looking at um, dialects um, that are considered non-standard that some people might um, consider, um, that some people might consider, uh, what am I saying? Uh, they sometimes labeled broken English. And so think about what you're doing, what you're focused on, because as you brainstorm together, it really can help you understand um, paths 
into this. Don't worry about if you're focused on the same type of thing in your group because your papers will be entirely different. Um, and yeah, just develop a plan. I think that was the last slide. It is. Um, I have a question just for the paper. What audience are we writing for? You are writing for an audience of students. And it's definitely more scholarly than, than the last paper you wrote. I want you to consider it an interesting scholarly paper written primarily for students, but also for, for, for professors. Think about, um, think about the papers that we've been reading from writing spaces. All of those are scholarly papers written specifically for first year students. And so they're interesting. They have strong vocabulary. I mean, like interesting vocabulary. It's not casual writing, but it's accessible. It's passionate. It's interesting. That's your audience. Good question. Thank you, Kristen. Any other questions before I send you off into your groups? Um, really quickly, it says on the, I, I don't know, the, I guess the rubric or whatever, that we need six entries for the annotated bibliography, but did you just say we needed four or? Since the last time we met last Wednesday, uh, uh, um, I actually, since the, when we last met and we actually had conversation last Wednesday, I looked at that and I go, dang, that's a lot. And so I I took it down to four. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I I actually sent a note, um, an announcement out after I changed it, but I know you all get so many announcements and notes that it can be hard to keep up on them. Any other questions before I send you into your groups? Okay. I'm setting the breakout rooms that you can join them on your own. Um, I, I think we've done this in the past. However, um, if you can't figure out how to join your group, then I can add you to that group. Um, you have to scroll all the way down to the bottom in order to do that. Otherwise, I will start adding you. So, Isaac, you're going to group one. Um, Connor, you are also in group one. So is Tuan in group one. Um, and Michaela is not here. David, you are in group one. And Grace, you're also in group one. Grace, yeah, there you are. Um, room two, um, Anna, you're in room two. Um, Matt, you are also in room two. Roxanne, Roxanne, I'm glad you had that note on there. That was very useful to me. Hannah, you're in that room and so is Kyle. Um, room three, Sulema, you're in room three. Amaru, you're in room three. Um, Teresa, you're in room three. And Reese, you're in room three. And um, room four is Derek, Ashley, Andy, Jordan, Jenna, and Ralph. Group five, Drea, Romeo, uh, Carlos is not here, and Kristen. And let 
Group six, Mari, Adrian, and Annie. Um, and then Kyle, I did not put you in the right room. Oh, they haven't, I have to open the rooms first. Kyle? Uh, yes. I, I I thought I assigned you, which? I'm in group two. Okay. I thought I had put you in there, but I had not. There, That's I think fun. everybody's, I think everybody's set.